and he was the councilman known as Mr. Los Angeles for his boundless energy and love for all things L.A. Tom LaBonge certainly left his mark in the city, and in July he bid farewell as he reflected on a storied career. Gil Reyes took a final tour of his office. So here we are, three, two, one. You hear me? Okay. Hey, here comes Vadim. Get out of here, Vadim. Vadim's, Vadim's the youth. Uh, he goes on, but I'm out. L.A. City Councilman Tom LaBonge, the most boisterous of L.A.'s elected leaders, termed out of his job in July. Closing on 14 years, almost 14 years as a council member. So over the course of time, I've collected a lot of things. Come on in. His city hall office is packed with mementos from his district. Art from constituents, relics like this piece of curb from the former home of Walt Disney. There are maps, plaques, and proclamations dedicated to the folksy, football-loving former jock from Marshall High School. Lisa, how's that report doing? You gonna have it done today? Oh, yes, I am. All right, now take a minute. Don't always be a busy bee. Wave to the camera. <laughs> and here's a picture of me right here, and that's Pat O'Brien, and that is Lou Holtz. He also shows us photographs. LaBonge, an amateur photographer, worked for NFL Films before politics. Prior to becoming councilman, he also spent 26 years working for the city in various roles, mostly as chief deputy to former council president John Ferraro. Altogether, that's 40 years in public service. When you're from Los Angeles and you're able to contribute in a way like I have, it's a very good feeling to know that, you know. I haven't made everybody happy, haven't solved every problem. As councilman, LaBonge clashed with activists over the LA Zoo's elephant exhibit. They called it inhumane and sued to close it. They lost. People have also criticized increased development and McMansionization in his district, but he's fought to preserve open space. Well, I think the proudest moment for, as a representative, is to be able to buy the land in Coinga Peak the open space near the Hollywood sign. If you look over here at this picture here, everything here was private land they could have built on it. Now it's park land. This added over 100 acres to his beloved Griffith Park. LaBonge hikes there almost daily. His knowledge of the city has earned him the nickname Mr. Los Angeles, and he plays it up for the cameras. I can't help folding in love. As L.A.'s booming Goodwill Ambassador and Chair of L.A.'s Sister Cities program, LaBonge almost always puts on a good show, leaving crowds smiling or bewildered, oftentimes both. So what's next for the man famous for handing out pumpkin bread made by Dominican nuns to people he meets? Will he ride off into the sunset of Griffith Park? Sometime in the future, i got to get a job because my children will still be in college. And my wife doesn't want to run the house all day long. Are you ruling out politics? Uh, not ruling it out, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to Sacramento. People have asked me to be a United States Senator, and I laugh. I'll tell you this, there is nothing like having this job to help people and to work with people who are into helping people. This is Tom LeBond from Council District 4 signing off to Channel 35, but I hope to come back uh, on a rerun. Best wishes to Mr. Los Angeles. Gil Reyes for L.A. This Week. As for the next chapter in his life, LaBonge said he'd look into teaching or maybe a job in the tourism industry.